All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Driveway Engineer. I'm JR. Welcome to my mess. Um, I, I know some of you flawlessly put your tools away in exactly the spot they go, a place for everything and everything in its place. I do not. <laughs> I work on stuff when I have the time, and I work on it until I don't have the time, and then I leave everything where it lays, and I go back home. But it's the holidays, I have a couple weeks off, and I do have a plan to get all of this in order, in sequence, back where it belongs. Um, so to that end, for my welding cart, my welder, this is Vulcan Omni Pro, would not buy this. It's been a great welder, it's just wildly overpriced nowadays. I think this was like 700 bucks when I bought it, and now they're like 13. Actually, I think they came back down a little bit, but uh, Anyway, it's on the original old Harbor Freight cart um, that my Chicago Electric, I used to have a Chicago, the fancy with both knobs, not a flux core. Um, that did well for me. I gave it to my nephew. He still uses it all the time. But uh, still on that cart because I had a hard time spending, you know, $350 for Harbor Freight's cart that didn't really do what I wanted it to do. Uh, this is my CNC plasma table, which you can see I've transformed into a workbench, and uh, I need to rectify that as well. So the first part of this, also, I guess, before I get too far into it, I have a TIG welder over here, a Prime Weld 225X. Um, I've never needed to own a TIG welder. I MIG weld everything. I don't give a shit about TIGging it up. I MIG weld everything. This frame is TIG weld. Everything in here is TIG welded or MIG welded. Sorry. Um, I MIG weld for the most part. But in order to do aluminum, I got to have a TIG welder and I got to have an AC TIG welder. I've always had access to one through work. I've, al there's always, I've always worked somewhere that had one and now I don't. So it was always a minor inconvenience to have to drag all my stuff in and then stay after hours or coming on a Saturday or whatever. Um, but it was worth it to, to avoid spending the money. But I love Prime Weld. My Cut 60 has been awesome on my plasma table and outside of it. So uh, I went with Prime Weld again. The prices were close enough. Black Friday deal, got a Prime Weld. Long story short, need a cart for the TIG welder, the MIG welder. I need to do something over here for the cut 60 i have this cart from northern tool but it didn't work the way i thought it would um because i wasn't paying attention when i bought it to access this top drawer you have to slide it open which means i wind up putting the plasma on the bottom shelf which worked but then i stacked shit on the top so i don't know i didn't figure that out but i'll show you guys what i got to get to the point, because I'm rambling. Sorry. Rambling day. It's holidays. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Um, so a while ago, like over a year ago, I bought this one inch service cart from Harbor Freight for like 90 bucks on sale. It's been a long time. Um, with the idea that I could put some kind of top plate on it and set my welder on it and it would be a nice sturdy cart. So I don't think I, I showed how wobbly this is, but I've had that bottle come off there twice and break two of my um, flow meters, at least, at least twice, maybe three or four times, I don't know. Um, you know, that's a danger. It can knock the valve off and go off like a rocket. Um, so I got that cart, I hate putting shit together. You know what I mean? Like I'm not fucking Ikea. So it's kind of been sitting here for a long time. Um, Cause I'm just avoiding putting it together. It's not, not fun for me. But then I remembered, I guess I knew this before, but I found out about ZT Fab and they make a little cart kit to put beefy wheels on one of these carts. So what I'm gonna do today is get that kit out of the box get it up on one of my fake workbenches, get it welded up and paint it up. And then I'll bring you guys back when I put the cart together um, and we'll kind of go from there. So 
I will probably set you up on a time lapse when I'm ready to actually start welding because I need to drag this welder around more and it's just not convenient so then I don't do it. You see it sitting all kitty wampus so I can open the door. It's just shit. Uh, somewhere over this weekend, the Harley, I'm gonna put the fuel pack cock in it. Um, I gotta reform that seat. I gotta pop those staples and, and pull that seat down. They don't make a seat for a tour glide. So that's an electric glide seat and it doesn't quite fit right. Um, get the front fenders bolted on and I'm gonna push that over there where the oven's at and, and just put it up for sale. I'm gonna clean this all up. I've got the next days and days off, I think like 10 days. So uh, plenty of time, plenty of time to get something done. So I'll bring you guys back. I'm gonna get the heater going, get the radio going and next thing you'll see is a time lapse. Well, actually, I'll show you what's in the ZT Fab kit, and then I'll do a time lapse. All right, so I'd forgotten what I'd ordered is a two bottle kit because I'll have an argon and a CO2. Um, these side panels come loose. Yes, I am literally building this on the tool that could have built it for me, but I couldn't have built it this nice. Not that it particularly matters how nice it is, but I have a very simple break for my press, but. All I can do is simple bends, 45 single bends. Um, I'm trying to level up my fab game, but I'm not there yet. This stuff is all slotted and tabbed. The instructions are on the website. You can't reach them from the main page if you're paying attention ZT Fab. Uh, I had to actually Google search ZT Fab a la carte instruction, um, and then it came up. But yeah, I, this stuff's formed a little bit imperfectly. It's slotted and tabbed back here. You have to wrestle with it a little bit. I don't have a bunch of clamps and stuff. Like I said, I'm not a huge fabricator guy, but uh, pretty straightforward, really. I did have to fight with the panel back there, but I'm gonna throw a couple tacks on it, and really I'm not gonna go crazy welding this in. But uh, like I said, pretty straightforward how they want you to put it together. So, I'll put you on a time lapse, you can watch me weld, it'll be super fun. can't weld good, weld a lot, root and cap, blah, 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 whatever. It's booger welded together. It's a welding cart. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and get the actual, damn, that's crooked as hell. I'll maybe I'll fix that. Um, I'm gonna get the actual cart put together real quick. I'll do it off camera and uh, I'll bring you back when it's time to attach it. So, finished product. In spite of that wheel being bent like crazy, you see I was only right on the inside edge. It rolls fine. Um, 
much more, much more of a big boy cart than that. I said this was under a hundred bucks and then the ZT Fab kit was around 200. So $300 welding cart. I mean, I still spent 300, but I got something the way I want it more or less versus uh, the way that Harbor Freight thinks I have to have it. Now on the MIG, on the Vulcan, I, you know, I have to be able to access this door to get to the spool. Um, so my original idea was to put a board or a piece of steel on top of the handles and then have that space below, but it'll probably just wind up full of dirty crap like that. Um, I may just take the front handle off and ignore the space. I actually don't know the dimensions of the prime weld um, 225X yet. I haven't taken it out of the box, but I can now. I'm going to see if my nephew wants this thing. I don't need a lot of space. I'm not a huge welder. I, like, you know, I'm not doing it all day, every day. Um, I do it about once a month. So, um, yeah, that's that's my little one drawer welding cart. And they make that, that will fit that cart or the end cabinet for that cart or that cart. They make them for whatever you want, uh, whatever you need. So if you, if you need three drawers, five drawers, you know, 10 drawers, they make something for you, which is pretty cool. This is way more secure, like this. I actually almost lost the bottle again and almost lost another, another, uh, i make sure this is closed. I always forget to close it. That's how I run out of gas. I never actually run out of gas. I forget to close the valve and then I, I need another bottle, which happens about once a year. But yeah, very nice. Um, should fit my Argon bottle whenever I get that as well. Uh, Pretty happy with it. Pretty, pretty happy with it. it. I bought spool holders. I haven't put them on yet because I haven't decided how I want to. Like, so you can configure this however you want. I got TIG rod holders here. I, I There's some other options. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get a hold of my nephew. See if he wants that. Get it out of here. Get back to cleaning up this shop. I hope you guys had a Merry Christmas. I hope you have a happy, safe New Year. I'm having a family dinner tonight with the wife's family, Mrs. Engineer's family, which will be nice. So I hope you're all having a good time and we'll see you next time on the Driveway Engineer.